one of the longest running events on the ITU calendar, Tishu Varos in Hungary celebrated its 20th anniversary, hosting the sixth World Cup race of the season. Saturday's two semi-finals produced 30 elite women for the sprint distance event final. The 750 metre non-wetsuit swim saw a large group tackle the first swim boy in what was a very congested race. But as time wore on, Spain's Anna Godoy got herself in front of a group of seven. Also in the group were Americans Rene Tomlin, Lindsay Yerdenek and Erin Dolan, plus Emma Jeffcoat from Australia. Top-ranked athlete in the field, Paula Finley also had a good swim and she joined the group trying to put some distance between themselves and the chasers on the 20-kilometre bike. The leaders were working well through the streets of the northern Hungarian city. The large chase group was some 30 seconds behind at this point. Verena Steinhauser from Italy took her place at the head of the group as they desperately tried to close the gap. And on the out and back section, the groups passed each other with the leaders heading back to T2, their lead having been cut significantly. As the leaders racked their bikes, the chasers came into view, realising they'd ridden themselves back into contention. Hungary's Zanet Bragmeier led them out onto the five-kilometre run, with Jerdenek and Tomlin right behind her. In the chase group, however, there were some excellent runners. Yulia Yelastratova from Ukraine and Russia's Elena Danilova, and they were soon off in pursuit of the leaders. Tomlin finished third in her semi-final on Saturday, having been able to conserve some energy in the final stages, and that seemed to be paying dividends as she hit the front and built up a commanding lead over the rest of the field. But Yelastratova and Danilova were running well and working their way through the field. There was to be no stopping Tomley though, who was looking for her first World Cup win since her triumph in Chengdu last year. As the race wore on, Finley was tiring as Yelastratova breezed past her. The Ukrainian has had a great few weeks on the European circuit, culminating with a win at the Holton Sprint event in the Netherlands last week. Tomlin's efforts were rewarded as she crossed the line with time to spare. The stars and stripes fluttering behind her. An 18-second winning margin for the American. It was Yala Stratova that came across the line in second, out sprinting Danilova in the final few metres. The Russian had to be content with third, but it was a great effort from all concerned on a great weekend of racing. I felt like I need to learn how to run from the front, I need to learn how to run from behind, so today was a good opportunity just to kind of practice that, that plan. Yes, of course, uh, I'm happy. O always nice to be on World Cup's podium. And uh, it especially I'm glad that uh, I managed to, to work hard from the beginning of the race until the finish line. And uh, I I'm satisfied with my silver today. It's uh, really my first podium. I'm really ha happy. And I, before the race, I think that uh, if I will be in the top five, it will be a big success for me. And I want to say thanks to all girls who work hard on a bike and we uh, catch uh, first group. Uh, just 10 seconds, it uh, was normal and uh, I run fast. It's, I try <laughs> to be in uh, third, but uh, before the finish line, I don't uh, think that I <laughs> third. I, I, uh, I think that I was uh, fourth, but I'm really happy. <laughs>